Uh, I started the oh, next episode. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh. Previously on Breathing Wild. Yeah, this, yeah. Is the, this is the fun of the game, is avoiding these insane enemies while you're still weak. And now, on to the continuation of Breathing Wild. Uh, I'm Michael. I'm not. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Alright, okay. that, that's gonna be our merch. I'm Michael. I'm not. I'm not. There you go. Slap that on a hat. It's, I'm Michael. I'm, and then it's just a sailor's <laughs> hitch. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. I like Thank that. You. Am I gonna ruin? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just follow this path. Through. Neat. Because it will go straight to the Rito Village. Awesome. Yeah. Question. Answer. This is just a just a regular conversation question. Oh dear. A as Lord. as friends talk to each other on normal normally. Yeah. As normal people do. I'm not setting you up right. Don't even worry about the map. Oh, yeah, you yeah. were just following this road. Okay. So what's the most horrifying oh, my God. TV sound that you've ever heard? Oh. As a child that you've woken up to in the middle of the night. Michael, I'm not gonna lie. This is an incredibly specific yeah. question. I I know. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> uh, that I woke up to in the middle or, of the night. Or you you just heard in the middle of the night, and it just like gives you that heebie-jeebies feeling, yeah. where you have like that whole like kind of warm and cold feeling at the exact same time that shrouds it's your body. Nostalgia, but it's also like oh, I remember that from when I was a kid, but it also was terrifying. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. Um, you want to know what mine was? Yes, please. I would love to. Okay, okay. So This was always set up for you to tell this story yeah, anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Okay, so uh, imagine that you're you're about, let's just say, seven or eight, yeah. eight years old. Sure. Um, and you're watching Cartoon Network. Okay. And you have the TV up, and you fall asleep. Courage the Cowardly Dog. No, not Courage the Cowardly Dog. Really? Log. <laughs> <laughs> Courage the Cowardly Dog. No, uh, but yeah, that show was horrifying. Right. Um, as it should be, it's a terrifying show, but it's really good. Use this. Um. Anyway, imagine that you're you're a how to say seven year old. Don't, don't yeah. super sprint. Yeah. Oh my god! If you would just you did yourself <laughs> off that bridge. <laughs> All right, seven year old Michael laying down in his bed, TV up, and then you fall asleep. So you're in dreamland, can't hear the TV anymore, and then. All of a sudden, your wonderful slumber sleepy times gets interrupted by the loudest noise of the robot chicken int intro. That is the creepiest thing oh, to wake up to. Yeah, and then, exactly. and then, uh, to add on to it, wait, are you, you you wake up? Not the laugh. No, 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 not the laugh. Like, like the... Where it sounds like a machine starting up, but it's, like, yeah. slightly broken. And then you wake up from that loud uh, intro, and then you look at the screen, and it's just, like, this menacing uh, scientist with a, yeah. weird, with a weird smile. And it's not even the chicken that gets you. It's just the smile from the scientist. Yeah. yeah. The show's not scary itself. It's the just... The show's hilarious. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. But... The trail goes yeah. to the right. Like, but wake, waking up to that is the most horrifying uh, yeah. experience you... Well, I'm not going to say you can go through, because, like, the Holocaust happened. <laughs> but <laughs> I didn't go through the Holocaust. Right. So I guess, in a way, Robot Chicken was my Holocaust. Ooh. Hey, you want to, like, poop your pants? Yeah. Just get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Just get ready. Like, as you're going past on this trail let's just go slow let's go slow yeah all right so should i go slow now or just walk like walk on the horse yeah so pull back okay i'm trying I'm trying to right pull back. stick back yeah yeah this is what i was doing i think you can go one more spur yeah so it's like a trot yes Ooh. it's up there yeah you gotta hug the cliff Hug that cliff. Do you feel that vibration? Yeah, I do feel the vibration. Yeah, turn around. Oh god, I don't want to. Uh, I, I just want to look at the pretty, the pretty side over here. 
very Why pretty. did I jump off? Get hey. back on the horse. Just, uh, turn the, just turn the camera around. No. Oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Is that a dragon? Wait, what just flew over me? Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh. uh <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he's not following me. Okay, I'm gonna walk across this. And uh, then... no, 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 no. Oh, the horse walks. You don't run. It, it's it's a forced walk. What? What do you What do you mean? Start back and start sprinting towards the bridge. Is it windy? Oh, God. Maybe Why? you could aim yourself. That that was the horse. Start further back. Point yeah, yourself that's at what I was the trying to do. bridge. All right, start right here. I'm yawn on the way back. I'm gonna turn around. She literally started to run sideways. That's, I'm going straight. Going, going straight. Come on. Take your hands off. Hands are off the wheel. Yeah, see? Literally, you sprint at it and she will force slow you down like you're going to a village. Because that's why you she wouldn't let you sprint that close to the edge. Is because there's literally like a little barrier and there's a field that doesn't let you sprint. Nice. I actually, one time, I was sprinting going into Hateno Village and it broke the game because it didn't stop like I didn't stop sprinting I sprinted straight into the town why did you stop what the freak uh, you were I hate sprint. you but it, she kept sprinting while I was in town I was like oh oh this is not good not like not good. there's something very <laughs> bad okay um Woo. do you want You're to fast. turn the sound up on the TV so we can hear yeah. it yeah I don't want to frick anything, except my ears. Okay. Uh, get off the horse and walk. <laughs> Woo! This way? Yeah. You just walk on these bridges. <sighs> Bye, ATT. -T. I'm so excited for you. What's happening? Don't worry about it. Cool. Bridge is that way. Oh, yeah, I was just looking at the water. Oh, okay. Sorry, I forget this is like an exploration game. Uh huh. Like, and that you haven't Whoa, played it before. Whoa, I have a feeling that I can paraglide in that, and then it'll propel me up. Uh huh. Wow, that's pretty, that's pretty epic. Not gonna lie, pretty cool. Pretty cool. <gasps> Try to grab it. Nope. Friends gone. don't let friends ford the river. Catch a fairy. Oh. Oh, wait. Is this the kind of game where you need jars? No. No, so you so I, I inventory. so you I could could've... literally just run up and grab it. Uh, okay. You just press A to collect. Yeah. Because I was thinking I needed a jar. The first time that I was at this party was the middle of the night. I was at the cold freeze. Mm hmm And what? What is? What? Oh. Okay. It's a giant sky chicken. Oh, that's pretty freaking neat. So my God. <laughs> I'm gonna go Office in that. Music. Later. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you. Yeah. Uh, the the name of this uh, this thing mm -hmm. is Musical. Witness the Divine. Ooh. So is that what I just did? Yes. Sweet. Put it up on the screen. Well, you did one of them. Oh. There's four divine beasts. Oh. Go back on your horse. We're going to see the other three. Oh, wait. I think I put Steve Buscemi on this one. Knock it off. <laughs> no, get back on the horse. Oh, on the horse? Yeah. No, but do you remember that, that thing that yes, I did? Yes, you put Steve Buscemi yeah. on the that one. Yeah. Because didn't you? You just made the joke. You were like, oh, there's Steve Buscemi. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then I looked up and I was like, oh, he actually put it yeah. on there. That's funny. Do you want to paraglide on one of those wind spurts? Yeah. Do it. Yeah. And I'll take you straight to your horse. Come on, baby, yeah! Oh. Oh. Well, that was really anticlimactic. Yeah, sorry. Maybe this will be really cool. hi Yeah. It was not. Yes. Oh, there you go. Alright, uh, map. Map! You are my map. That's a great movie. I love that movie. It's, uh, Inside Out. Yes! Yes. You are my map. All right, zoom me out. Zoom, zoomy, okay. zoomy. Oh, umi, zoomy. Mm. What? What's happening? Mm. 
right. Uh, you know what? I'll get your opinion on this. Okay. Okay. So we can. Right. So what? There. What we're what we're doing right now? We're we're because you you saw the whole world and you've explored everything. You're ready to understand like the threat that you're facing, right? Yes. So. Uh, a part of it is you're gonna see the four divine beasts. That's what we're going to do. Oh, right now. Yes. But Cause, cause another the... another thing that you need to do is you need to get all of the um, outfits. And that's that's another thing that I have listed is the next accomplishment is um, adapt to the environment. Mm -hmm. Now, would you rather... Mm -hmm. uh, I'm listening. No, I'm, I'm oh, thinking. I, I, okay, I'll tell you what I was going to say. I was going to say, would you rather see all four divine beasts and then get all the outfits, or would you rather see all the divine beasts and, like, since we're right here, get the outfit that will let you live? I, I like that better. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Because um, that's killing two birds at once. It's going to be... Because isn't, like, each place a new outfit? Not that. Actually, yeah, that one in order to see the Which divine one? beast. Uh, Zora. Zora. See the square? The big square of rock? Do, do, do. Right, right beside. No. That. Yep, that. Ah. That area. Ah. Sorry, I just see, like, the right angle. Okay, uh, yeah, we can do that. Okay. Uh, get off the map. Map. And go back to the village. Like, right <laughs> up right. there. Yeah, I can just Now... Let me look at your inventory, because we might have an issue. Can we look at clothes? Uh-uh. Or food? Uh-huh. All right. Oh, okay. I can eat these silent princesses. Uh, Is there this are no. 12, 12 ambers, four opals, two luminous stones, two topaz, and one sapphire. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> I hope that's enough. Hopefully. See. All right, you I'm want, gonna catch. You this want one. real talk for two seconds? Yeah, sure. It's thirteen hundred rupees. Shit, Migs. Just for this one. Oh, oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> well, make food, sell food. Yeah. Good job. Hell yeah. That's what you're gonna be doing for a while. Yep. That's why I didn't know if you wanted to do all of the. The cooking and the selling and everything as one accomplishment. accomplishment, or if you want to, I, th I think it'll be easier in the long run to do this way. Yeah. That's fine. It's your adventure, dude. Yeah. And it's the thing is, it's quicker to go through the cold area next, mm -hmm. and we need the cold armor for that. But I didn't know. If you would rather just streamline and see all the divine beasts now, or yeah. you want to fully prep yourself, for yeah, I'm just gonna adventure. fully prep myself. Okay, I I understand that. Okay. So we'll set up for our adventure. We'll sell some stuff, and then we'll head out, right? Yes. Or is there something else I gotta get from here? Uh, no, not from here now. Okay, cool. So yeah. go up. Yeah. So, um, you wanna end the episode up there, or you just wanna end it now? Uh, how about? Because is there something see. like super important that I have to get up here? Or? You just have to get that armor. So you just go mm -hmm. and you sell it, and then you buy, the, like you sell the stuff that you have, and then you buy the armor. This play? No. no, next one. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's six hundred. That one's seven hundred. This one. Five fifty, and then how much for the headdress? A one thousand. thousand. Wow. All right. Okay, we can ignore the headdress. Sure. Just get the, go for the eleven fifty. Okay. Uh, we should be able to get that. So talk to them, and just sell no. all of your precious minerals. Let's see. Well, Honestly, I'll... that works because the next place we're going is the volcano, yeah. and there's lots of that kind of stuff there. It's not like you can lose the stuff. Okay. All right. Cool. Great. So yep, just go enough. up to those two things and buy them. Heck yeah. Ooh. Buy it. Woo! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whenever we're at the volcano next, we're gonna 
cut out, and then we're just gonna spend a good while uh, mm -hmm. getting all of the stuff that we can to buy from there. I'm gonna check prices right now. Okay. And just see how much stuff we have to yeah. get to do that. Definitely do that. But you want to call it? Yes, uh, definitely. So right. we will we'll pick up when we're on the road, like headed to the next place. Mm -hmm. So we'll yeah, it's whatever. That's fine. Okay. All right. Well, I'm Michael. I'm Alex. And we'll see you later, guys, on Delightfully Bizarre, Breathing Wildly, the show that you're watching right now. <laughs>